Okay, in this video we're going to look at cardboard and sort of its properties and how to take advantage of some of the ways that it's built so that we have more support in the structure of what we're building. So what I want to show you is that uh, every piece of cardboard that you find is going to have really three layers. Uh, and we could have more, but at least three layers. And those are a front cover that is flat, a back cover that is flat, and then in the middle we have what's called corrugation, or uh, you might see these referred to as flutes. And I'm going to try and zoom in a little closer so that you can see these. So a flute runs like a kind of like a, a little wave. Uh, it's going back and forth like this within the cardboard, and that's what gives it structure, uh, s strength in one direction and flexibility in another direction. And so anytime you see it going up and down, you'll know that it's got strength going this way, but it's got more flexibility going this way. So knowing those things, there's a few, there's a few techniques that we can use. So the first one is just uh, bending cardboard. What I would do whenever you need to create uh, some sort of circular or uh, you know bent uh, object, uh, you think about the, the directions of the flutes and then you can bend along the flute just like this. Okay, And I've taken, you'll learn about this in another video, but I've taken a clever cutter and I've just cut one side of the cardboard and that gives it more flexibility. And now I can make something that's maybe like a tube or something like that. Okay. Another thing you can do knowing that you have uh, certain directions within your cardboard is to create something called a flange. Now, well, when you see something like this, a uh, piece of cardboard that you've cut and you might see yourself using it as uh, maybe a, a support for a bridge or some other structure that you're building where you need to put some weight on the top, or it could even just be the leg of an animal or a creature. Um, when you form the cardboard along the flute sides, you get a structure that's pretty strong. But even stronger than that, if you were to take some scissors and cut the bottoms off like this, and to help you bend a little bit, I use something like a metal ruler and I can bend along this ruler's line. And what that does is it gives me now these little feet to stand on. These are called flanges, okay? And by using a flange, I now have a structure that can sit on top of something else and be very stable. And I have an example here of one. But you can see that shows this one, in this case, a four-footed pylon that allows you to have a very strong structure. Same goes with making a wall. If you needed to create a wall structure of one piece of cardboard on another, you would do the same idea of creating flanges at the bottom. And in this case, I just made every other flange face one way or the other, and that gives it stability going this way as well. Okay, and I just glued these down. Alright, going back to those flutes again, the other nice thing about creating something out of cardboard is that you can make things that curve or uh, bend in this direction so that let's say you're doing the top of a tower, for example. You can create it using cutouts just like this. The next thing you can do is create slots or what sometimes may be called notches in your cardboard like this so that when you put them together, you have a structure that might serve as a, a foot or a table leg or something along those lines. And finally, if you need to give some sort of structural support to a corner, you can just cut out a triangle like we've done here, and you can glue it on the insides of two pieces that are 90 degrees from each other, and this gives you quite a bit of strength. Okay, so that's another way of creating more support for your cardboard construction.